So 2019, we've got Brexit coming down the road, which is an existential threat, I think, for, for not just universities, but the whole of the UK. It's led to a total meltdown in our political situation. Uh, but that's perversely led to, to kind of universities uh, showing themselves in, in, in probably the best light, providing the evidence for the public debate and the public discourse in a way that enables policymakers, in theory, to, to be better informed and make better decisions. They're not making better decisions at the moment, but not for want of trying on universities' uh, part. It's also a bigger threat uh, for universities as uh, the post-Brexit settlement is still very much un, uh, uh, unsettled. Uh, it could affect research partnerships, the flow of students, all sorts of funding, academic partnerships, um, and it's all, all of those things are on the table at the moment. The org review um, is one of those things, it could be huge, um, it, could be, it could go nowhere, it may never see the light of day. Um, our political situation at the moment means that uh, big changes to domestic politics uh, look very hard to achieve while Westminster is in deadlock over Brexit, but that could change a general election, another referendum, some resolution of the Brexit situation, uh, and Augur could, uh, could be pushed forward by, uh, for example, a general election and a Tory party manifesto or Conservative Party candidates standing, standing for the leader of their party uh, looking for political solutions. So it could happen, uh, but it, it really its effects could be anything on a spectrum of something quite benign that supports partnerships with further education colleges uh, and uh, reintroduces maintenance grants uh, and fixes some historic problems with the, the, the funding system for part-time students, for example, um, all the way through to uh, huge cuts in the unit resource for universities, which would lead to um, a, probably a reshaping of the sector as we know it. So the financial health of the sector, uh, as ever, is incredibly varied. On the one end, you've got institutions that are very strong, have been growing, um, perhaps have historic reserves, um, endowments, research funding, those kind of things. Um, right the way through to the other end of the spectrum, institutions that have been struggling to recruit um, don't have that, those level of, of reserves to fall back on uh, and are facing significant uh, financial challenges year on year that kind of compound each other. Um, and what, you, what you're looking at is a very, very stratified picture with some big winners and some big losers. Um, and I'm not the only one that's incredibly worried about the people on the bottom end of that spectrum at the moment. Uh, those institutions are facing some very, very stark financial numbers um, at the moment and very small changes in policy, funding, regulation, those kind of things could tip them into uh, real disaster territory.